It's quite a different scene in the city of Kigali today with some of the streets that are known to be crowded with people on a daily basis now looking otherwise. Following how things have been, there was plenty of movements with many people coming to do various things, to do their business and to buy their own things. But we can see that the traffic has reduced mostly because of this virus that has really scared us. Better still, you will not walk on the streets for more than a minute before noticing many people wearing facial masks or gloves. The mask and glove business has picked up in the city for the people that are still carrying on with their businesses. The prices have changed. For instance, this was 500 francs before, but now it's 1,000. This was 1,000 before, but now it's 1,500. And this was also at 500, which has now increased to 1,000. Accessing this has not been a challenge, and we're also having customers that are buying from us. I am getting profit to buy other things. Hmm. After the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in Rwanda last Saturday, measures such as employers letting people work from home were put in place to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Visiting some places of work, it is clear that some have already implemented it. However, different people now fear of the digital divide that this might cause. Like a, lim a limelight showing that there is more need of digital because in a case like this, you will find that you know, most of the communication, if it is not on phone, you know, they are going to get with the client on Skype. You know, so much, everything is going to literally be digital. So those people who have all those companies which have not embraced the digital, digital, the digital world, they are having a great, great, great problem trying to cope up. Now, say in two weeks, I don't know how they will do business. When the coronavirus situation came in, we decided to go with the digital meetings using using Zoom, Microsoft Teams. So uh, at least told most of our clients who have meetings to use that avenue instead of meeting face to face so we can at least keep up. And also the drive, we are uploading all our documents so they can access everything that we need and then communicate. Until now, the biggest priority has focused on containment of the virus with health officials emphasizing the significance of keeping good hygiene and social distancing, pointing out that people should not panic to buy masks because so far it has not been a directive from the Ministry of Health. There is a recommendation of wearing a mask. Are you symptomatic? Are you, do you have a disease? Are you living in a setting where someone is sick with flu with or any other respiratory disease, then you can wear a mask. But you cannot wear a mask just because you have a mask. That is a, what you call the mask mania. And uh, I don't think there is an instruction on that. Rwanda so far has five cases confirmed of the new coronavirus infections that are all currently isolated and being treated. It is now evident that the biggest percentage of people in the country are aware of the coronavirus infection after the Ministry of Health announced the five cases so far that have tested positive in Rwanda. This has definitely influenced a change in lifestyle. When you walk around town, almost 90% of the people you see walking on the streets are wearing face masks. There's also been instances of panic buying in several supermarkets around the city. Most of them actually queuing up to just buy facial masks. Gloria Mutesi, RTV, Kigali.